see lights. No, we're not talking about lights for boats. We're talking about the sea light five by seven inch LED headlight that you can use on your Jeep XJ. So let's take a look. And as usual, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can purchase these. And one of the things with these stock XJ headlight uh, assemblies, uh, these old halogen, is that these are very old technology. And pretty much everything now is LED. So uh, we're going to do a, an upgrade thanks to the folks at Sea Light that sent me those lights. Well, we're going to put a couple of them on here and we're going to see how they so do. So the first thing you got to do is we've got to remove these little... Um, Phillips head screws here. There are plenty of videos on how to do that online, so I'm not gonna show you every little turn of each there screw. There were only two screws to get this headlight bezel off, top left, top right, and then don't forget, you've got these little tabs there, and basically you just lift it out, and now you have access to the screws to take off the uh, chrome or uh, aluminum ring here that actually holds your bulb inside. These are four, one, two, three, four. The bottoms are spread out further than the top. Uh, Phillips uh, screws, just using an old Phillips screwdriver to get these out. Okay, once you get the uh, four screws out, this little bezel should come right off. And this is what holds your headlight in. So once you get that, the headlight should just kind of fall out. Now be careful, if it's not completely connected back there, you will uh, drop it. Now sometimes these plugs are hard to come off, so a lot of times I will spray some penetrant on there to, to try to loosen them up a little bit. Pulled out with ease. There's the connectors there. We'll sit it right over here. Now let's take a look at this old connector here. This is pretty grungy, so we're going to have to do some cleaning up on that. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to clean that connector there with some of this Max uh, electronic cleaner 4710 from Napa. Let's see what happens. That's a lot of dielectric grease. I just felt it, so it's not really corroded or anything. Alrighty, I've got my connector all cleaned. Um, so come over here and I'll show you what's in the box. So what you get is you get two of the five by seven LED lights. Uh, so they are packaged pretty nicely. So there's the package there. <clears throat> you get the lights, you get, uh, they come uh, ready to be wired in, and uh, this is a pigtail to plug on here if you need to direct wire it yourself. So uh, this is a uh, plug and play harness. These two here, I believe, are for uh, blinker lights or running lights, which I'm not going to hook up on the XJ because it didn't have that uh, option, I don't want to be messing around with that, but I will uh, temporarily connect these so you can see what they look like. I'm going to keep this little plastic protector on there until I get it fully installed. So we'll, we'll go ahead and plug it in. It is really simple. I basically take this right here and I plug it into that plug. I'm not going to use these, but I will hook up the power probe to show you what they look like. As you see, it was a direct plug. Again, I'm leaving these here, so let's go ahead and turn on the headlights and see what she looks like. I can already see it being very bright. Okay, there we go. That's the low beam there. Uh, wow. And that's your old uh, incandescent. So let's put um, the power probe and see what happens. All right, I've got the handy dandy power probe. I'm gonna put power to it. And there are your amber lights that can be used for turn signals or for daytime running lights. The directions say that one of these is for turn signals and one is for daytime running lights. I'm not even going to use that. I'm going to tape those what up. What I did is I just taped those other wires up there to keep the electrical things out of the way. And we just put it back in. Okay, and here's where I could lose my sponsorships and I... Um, I just have to tell the truth. Okay, so this light will not fit the Jeep XJ. Uh, it will not fit in the um, in the factory aluminum or metal buckets back there because these are squared off right here. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to have to pull this back out. It will not fit flush in. Here is the problem on the 
factory halogen, it tapers up right here. This goes straight up and down. So that bucket, this aluminum bucket that is in here, has not a lot of room right here. So in order to make this work, I would actually have to cut all this out, which I don't think I'm going to do, at least at this point. So with these factory buckets, it will not work with these sea lights. Now, I was pretty excited because these things are extremely bright and these are horrible. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, at this point, I will not be installing these. These may work on other applications. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, big Ford vans or something like that, but it will not work on a 2000 Jeep XJ. And I'm not even so sure it will work because I think this has the same headlight bucket on my MJ either. Okay, and uh, here's our Amazon link. And you can see right here, it says, uh, this sea light, sea light fits Wrangler YJ Cherokee XJ two pieces. Okay, <clears throat> so I checked the ratings out just now. And uh, a lot of people do love these things, uh, but um, the issue looks like toyotas and stuff are fine but if you look at this one here it does not fit the 2001 cherokee xj um the headlights do not fit in the stock headlight buckets just like i showed you in this video on the 2001 xj unless you're comfortable doing some jury rigging i would advise against buying these and this person is correct he gave him three out of five stars so um again the sea lights might work great for other uh, applications but not for the Jeep XJ and it's interesting they sh actually show them here on a Jeep YJ but uh, I don't know what Jeep YJ buckets have so anyhow that is the end of my uh, review on the sea lights and uh, they might work for you if you have another type of vehicle but they uh, I would advise against the Jeep XJ unless you want to again cut out the headlight buckets so uh, this video is probably going to have to end right here because I cannot get them installed in there. But I do think that, I mean, they feel okay. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to test them. I'm not sure. I may send them back. I'll see whatever Sea Light wants me to do. Maybe they have another option on that. I will look before I post this video and let you know whether or not these on their website say they fit the Jeep XJ. If they do, shame on them. If not, then shame on me. So. Uh, this is what the box looks like. Again, sea light, five by seven inches LEDs, comes with two, uh, has some instructions. I pretty much went over that with you. Looks like a nice uh, setup. In fact, in here, it actually looks like that uh, they're, or they're installing it here on a Dodge truck. And here is actually an XJ or an MJ. Look at this picture here, look, okay? That's an older model which is the same as this one here. So see that right here? That is this picture, except with the light, the sea light in it. So let's take this off and see if this picture is accurate, if that bucket will work, not sure. All right, here's the attempt in my MJ. This is like uh, 84 through 96 XJ front end. It's exactly the same and it is the same meaning that this will not go flush it is uh the the headlight bucket there is not deep enough it uh the curves do not work out right so uh it just will not work i do have a 91 nissan pickup that's going to come into the shop uh, pretty soon so i'm going to try i think it has a five by seven rectangular headlights i'm going to try these sea lights on that to see if uh, if they work and if they do work i'll make another video on it if not i won't but uh if they do work i'll make a video and we'll do some light comparison because i mean they do seem like a decent light well the c light might be a good product for certain vehicles but it is an epic fail for the two jeeps i've got i checked the amazon site and the amazon website says that this light will fit a 2000 model jeep xj which it clearly did not um so I went to directly to the Sea Light website, and it doesn't say that we they have any products to fit the 2000 Jeep Cherokee XJ. So a little strange. Uh, the Amazon, which is 
when they sent me these, I used the Amazon lookup on, uh, on, on their, I guess, affiliate store, and I told them that's the one that, that I wanted because according to Amazon, it does fit. Well, it will fit with major modifications to that headlight bucket, and I'm not just willing to do that. So, when you buy Amazon headlights, Sea Light, or any other brand, you really need to uh, keep, um, keep in mind that you might have to either do some major modifications to your headlight bucket that's in there, or maybe find a light that fits. I really haven't found one yet, haven't really looked, but I will look in the future. So hopefully this helps y'all make an informed buying decision. Thanks, Sea Light, for sending these any sending these to me anyway. Seems like an okay light for the price, but uh, just didn't work for my application. But I will see. Uh, I do know somebody that's got an old Chevy van, and I'm going to see if it will fit. If it will, I will give that to them. So y'all have a great day.